If you have a messy layers panel, it's hard to know what you're working with. A lot of times things will get complex. Copies of copies, multiple layers, adjustment layers. Taking the time to organize things is worth doing. In this case, I'm continuing to work with our previous example. We had a foreground element, which worked pretty nicely here. And so I'm going to call that mountain. Now let's take a look here at this other brighter element. I'll turn that on and that's okay, but I don't think that one's actually needed. So I'll just drag it into the trash. Looking at the next layer for the background, that's pretty good. So I'm going to call that one sky, but it's a little bit bright for my liking. So I'm actually going to take this other one that's darker, drag it above for a moment and turn it on. Well, that's too dark. So in fact, let's blend these together. With that layer selected, I'm going to click to add a layer mask. And now it's very simple to grab my gradient tool and to paint from black to white. You'll see if we drag, for example, it starts to blend those together. Well, maybe that's not what I want, or maybe it is. That actually looks pretty good. I like that I brought in the darker version of the sunset, but the brighter version of the sky is used at the top. Well, let's call this sky two. So now we have the mountain, sky two, that brings back the sunset, and the top sky, or better yet, let's call that bottom sky and top sky. And this last layer isn't needed, so I'll delete it. One thing that's quite nice is as you work with different layers, you'll find that you might drag them up or down. You can also use the keyboard shortcut of command left bracket or command right bracket to move layers up or down in the stack. Adding the shift key moves it all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. And this is a quick, easy way to swap the arrangement. If you'd like, you can also click here on the panel icon and go to panel options. This is where you can decide the size of thumbnail that you view to make it easier to see your layers. Now that you understand a little bit about naming an organization, let's move on to some other layer commands.